I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Ireland. Madam Chair, distinguished guests, uh, distinguished delegates, we are the youth delegate from Ireland carrying with us the voices of 1.2 million young people, many of whom uh, are concerned about their future. We are concerned about our position as a, uh, agent of change in a current economic system. However, this position is undercut by the impact uh, on our mental health. Young people in Ireland and throughout the world grew up learning that the world is a place where hard work is rewarded. If you go to school, you get a good education, you'll make it. While we're, while we're studying, we're made to feel like we own the future, that it is up to us to shape the future. In fact, that we are the future. Today, there are one billion girls and young women who do not have the skills they need to make their way into an increasingly digitalized world. But even those of us who are lucky enough to go to second and third level education oftentimes do not benefit from what we once believed to be a meritocratic society. Madam Chair, our dreams are crushed. Crushed because our effort to create a better world are often seen as extracurricular activity, rather than stepping up and committing to a force of good. Whether this is being a youth delegate or doing an unpaid internship, or even being uh, a youth, uh, a leader in our community. Our society needs to recognize that everyone has something to contribute. We need to break down the misconception of what contribution is. We live in a world that is wealthier than ever, yet some of us find ourselves struggling to survive. Our econom economic system is supposed to allocate our scarce uh, resources efficiently, but instead, it creates growing inequalities, destroys our planet, wastes the potential of young people, and keeps them trapped in a life of constant scarcity. Young people want a fairer, greener, and better world. But it is hard to stay confident about our future if the labor market fails to provide us with meaningful work, income security, and work-life balance. That is why it is time we shift our focus away from a recession with economic growth and towards the pursuit of good life for all. The Sustainable Development Goal offers us the blueprint uh, for a better world. But in order to do so, we will need to set ourselves free, free from the pressure of a 27 economy, and only then we can concentrate on things that matter, that is, people, planet, and communities. Communities in Ireland and around the world are rocked by mental health issues. The ripple effects of a suicide in the community affects the mental health of everyone around them. Global figures from the World Health Organization indicate that one person dies by suicide every 40 seconds. While Valerie and I speak to you, seven people in the world will die by suicide. Two of which will be young people between the ages of 10 and 29 years old. Despite the prevalence of mental health issues, young people continue to mask their struggles. Stigma is a critical barrier, and we are the only ones who can put an end to it. When young people, who so often raise their voice in unison for other global issues, rather remain silent than speak out on their fears and insecurities, to an extent of suicide, we, as a society, have failed. We urge the United Nations to bolster efforts in the eradication of both mental health stigmatization and suicide, especially in low- and middle-income countries where 79% of all suicides occur. We call for increased collaboration with mental health organizations and for fostering the development and implementation of grassroots initiatives, allowing for people to seek support in safe spaces that are both relevant and comfortable to them. Creating the space and resources for young people to express their innermost thoughts provides the possibility of not only improving, but perhaps saving a person's life. We as a people, have the shared responsibility to act as a light for those who are in the dark, a guide for those who are lost, and a liberator for those who are trapped in the confines of their own mind. As we say in Irish, which means unity is our strength. When we act together, we can create a better world for everyone. Thank you.